What's up guys? My name is Aaron, aka Super Liger Tiger, and this is Worth It. Welcome back everyone. In case you forgot what Worth It is, I buy a product, I tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, everything great, everything not so great that I found with it, and in the comments below, you let me know if it's worth it or not. And also while you're at it, please like and subscribe, that way I can continue to make more fun videos like this. So for the past few months or so, you guys have noticed, maybe you haven't, maybe you did, I don't know, but I've been developing my office, aka the background behind me and everything. As you can see, we have lightsabers here, we have Tron discs, this shelf is full of stuff, we have more lightsabers, and so forth. But as you can see in this area right here, it does feel like it's kind of empty. Therefore, today on Worth It, we will have something to potentially fill this area. On Worth It today, we have the Star Wars Black Series Captain Cardinal Helmet. Ooh. Here is the Star Wars Black Series Captain Cardinal Helmet. Uh, disclaimer, I actually don't remember who Captain Cardinal is. I just thought this was so cool, and it was on sale. So let's open it up. Uh, also, fun fact about this, as I open this part, this was actually supposed to be the very first work that I ever did, but I don't know what exactly happened. It got pushed back, essentially, and now here we are today doing a worth it on it. All right, opening it up, um, you have the cardboard, and directly inside is the helmet. No, like, spacing or anything else in between. Uh, it's kind of hard to get out. It is in nice plastic, and it's also very plastically. It's not really like metal or anything, but it's okay. It'll be, I think it'll be great for displaying. Getting it out of its plastic, and there's a lot of tape on here without me trying to break it further. Okay. All right, here we go. This is pretty easy to open, not really. But here is the helmet itself. Um, I don't know if these are marks. Oh no, they're supposed to be on the helmet, but it does feel pretty good. It looks like it can fit a human head, maybe an animal. Very, it feels pretty high end, and I guess that's what is expected from like the Black Series. It does require three AAA or AA batteries. I'm not sure where to put it in yet. I'll find that out, but I know that it does voices when you push this button here. Besides the helmet, going back to the box, since I did completely skip that while getting excited opening this finally. On the box, you have, here's the back, kind of displaying what it is. Cat talking about, I guess, Captain Cardinal. This is from Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland also, so um, yeah, pretty cool. Here's the side. Here is the front, black series. As you already saw, the bottom just has all the stuff and also the side of the box as well. All right, once again, here's the helmet. Now, let's see what this can do. Now, it seems I haven't done an unboxing in a long time because I forgot to mention that at the very bottom of the box is kind of the quick instructions on how to adjust the strap, how to change or insert the batteries. And you also have your warning guide as well so you don't accidentally suffocate or whatever while wearing the mask. So to first take off the battery panel so you can put in batteries or change them you have to actually pull down here if you can kind of see it on that like mark you pull on this and it does require some force after taking that off you actually need to get a screwdriver and then undo that and then you can put in i think it's triple a batteries in here um let me do that really quickly and i'll be back all right so i just unscrewed this and then screwed it back in putting in the batteries uh this part was a little bit difficult to unscrew just because it didn't really catch on after you unscrewed it completely uh also if you are going to ever do this you need a phillips head uh if it, this one isn't actually phillips the one that's flowery instead of the line one i know i should i should know that so anyway batteries are in let me put this back on and we should have a functioning Star Wars helmet. Let me push the button see if anything happens. Okay, ooh, cool. 
So I think this does change your voice if you put it on. I thought it was gonna like do voices as well, but I guess you have to put this on and then you'll be able to kind of record your voice and make it sound like a stormtrooper. <laughs> so cool. Uh, this is also kind of a comparison of the size between my head and the helmet. As you can see, the helmet is bigger. That way it does allow for you to put this on. Also, before putting it on, and I kind of made this mistake because I got so excited, on the inside, and it might be hard to see, oh no, it's okay. There are two straps. You have this one here, and you have the one on the inside. You'll need to adjust them first uh, to make sure that you do have the right amount of room for your head because when I put this on I kind of got stuck and I panicked. Then after you do all the adjustments you put in all the batteries to put on the helmet on the inside this first strap that's here you pull on it and then you put your head in and you can put on the helmet. So now that I checked that everything is good made all my adjustments this is where the fun begins. So I have the strap in this hand and let's put on the helmet. I don't know how well you can hear me right now. Let's see if I can push the button and it can change. Whoa, that's so cool. My voice now is a stormtrooper and I hope that you can hear it on camera. So now because I'm wearing this helmet and I don't want to take this off, I'm going to do the rest of the worth it with this on. I feel like with this voice translator, it's slowly talking, which makes me feel like I have to talk a lot slower. Um, what I am noticing that while wearing the helmet is, like most helmets, it's kind of hard to see, especially if you're at the wrong angle. Um, uh, it's also not really great for breathing. There's no like air thing right here to allow me to breathe. So I'm kind of just breathing my air over and over and Okay, I can't that's that was too hot. Um, this is really cool Especially the voice changing. Uh, the only thing is I oh actually it is still oh it's still going Do I even need to push the button? Or, oh, okay, so you don't have to hold down the button. And that's kind of cool too. You can just push it and it'll just translate for you outside of the helmet. Wow. So some things I am noticing is that this is very smudge proof. So when, or maybe not smudge proof, it's very smudge, smudge. So when you touch it a lot, you can see the fingerprints and it does kind of dull out the like shiny finish, but this helmet does feel really good. It has a good size. You can wear it as long as you don't want to breathe. Maybe I'm just breathing wrong, but this feels really nice. It is really cool to wear. It doesn't feel like it's going to break even though it is a plastic. And the voice changing, as you can hear, and as I heard from playing back, it, uh, I was hoping that'd be more kind of, in a way, overwhelming where you would just hear the kind of stormtrooper voice and not just like my voice translated. Um, but it is pretty cool to be able to just put it on, press the button, and then start becoming a stormtrooper essentially. The battery compartment also is pretty hidden as well. It's kind of right down here, which is kind of hard to see, but you can't really see where you take this off and put in the batteries. Um, I think, feel like just the detail here is just really nice. There's everything in place. You don't really see any like errors in like the paint or design. On the inside, it does also have some detail as well. This kind of looks like it's supposed to be more like carbon fiber and whatnot. Um, presumably what inside a Stormtrooper helmet would be. And I just, I really like this helmet a lot. So I did buy this helmet well over a year ago. I bought this in April of 2021 and never got a chance to open it until today. So when I did buy it, the helmet was actually on clearance and I was actually able to find this for $59.99, which is a fantastic price for something like this. Checking on Amazon right now, it is going right now at $250, so this might be much more difficult to find, but I am hoping that the Black Series, which is supposed to be like the higher end of Star Wars collectible stuff, all of their helmets would be like this. And if so, I would want to get more. Um, I feel like they have 
great quality to them despite being plastic, despite absorbing all the fingerprints and getting kind of smeared on here as well. And the voice changing was really cool. I hope all the other ones have the voice changing too. Um, I think this would be a fantastic thing to display, but if you also want to wear it to like a Comic Con or like a convention or anything like that, uh, I do feel like it will be hard to breathe in, but that just might be me. It is also kind of difficult to see at times, um, depending on the angle of where the eyes are with where you are, but overall, this is really cool. Now we have it in its place. And one final thing about this, battery life-wise, it does take three AA batteries, not AAA. And depending on how long you're gonna really put this on and do like the voice changing and everything like that, it should be able to last for a long time. You shouldn't really have to change it unless you're gonna use it at like a Comic-Con kind of thing and just have your voice change all day where it then might not last the entire day but if you're gonna have it on display and just kind of keep it there um, the battery should battery life should be great so once again I did pay $59.99 for that it's normally like a hundred dollars uh, on Amazon right now it's 250 because um, no one really sells this anymore and it is harder to find but if you can find any of the other black series helmets I do recommend it if it's anything like this so in the end is it worth it? Actually, hold on. Hold on, we can't just end it like that. Hold on, no, no, no. If we're gonna do a voice changing helmet, what we are gonna do instead, is it worth it? Let me know.